All right, what's going on guys? It's Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing my weekly review for this week's episode of The Walking Dead Season 6. It is the second last episode, unfortunately, but it was an amazing one, episode 15, which is called East. Okay, and spoiler warning, if you guys haven't seen East yet, man, it was a pretty incredible setup episode. This one was directed by uh, uh, Michael E. Satrazemis. He's directed some of my favorite episodes of The Walking Dead. He directed Start to Finish, directed Knots Untie, and Try, as well as uh, uh, Slab Town, as well as some, a few others, uh, The Grove and that. So he does an amazing job, man. I really like the way he uses music. I've said it before, all of his episodes really have some good uh, music mixed in here and there, either be it near the uh, near the end of the episode or this one it was kind of near the beginning as kind of an intro um he does a tremendous job i feel like he elevates you know he elevates the scene so that using sound using just just really great camera work and, and everything he he does an amazing job man his episodes are always on point really love his episodes so this one was exactly what i thought it was going to be of course with the finale being a 90 minute episode including the uh, the commercials um some extended episodes, so can't wait to see the finale. Really excited for it. But this episode was exactly what we, we needed for it to be, which is a setup episode for the finale. The finale for this season should be one of the biggest episodes uh, ever of The Walking Dead, and this one set it up perfectly. Of course, at the end of episode uh, 14, twice as far, and of course we had the, the same boat. Uh, you know, both really good episodes and, uh, you know, kind of having everybody, everything seemed to be okay at the end of episode uh, 14. With 15, we have uh, lots of new developments for this uh, beginning of this mid, uh, this kind of, this near end of season, new new sort of story arc that I will assume will, of course, spill over into next season. And it looks like we will be seeing a cliffhanger in some capacity um, in episode 16 in the finale because there were so many things set up in this episode that it was uh, it's just crazy. Let's list them off. So first of all, let's start from the beginning. You have Carol who who leaves. So Carol decides uh, she's she's basically had enough. Uh, she's going to try and run away. However, the problem being is that the saviors are everywhere, <laughs> no matter which direction she goes in. The saviors know where Alexandria is. They know what it is. Uh, that's this episode confirms it. Uh, Dwight wasn't just saying it. They really do know what it is, where it is, and uh, you know uh, they're they're uh, patrolling, so to speak the area and anybody who seems to to try to leave or goes out uh, out and about uh is going to run into some trouble for sure so in this episode we see that with carol and then we also see it with the other group that goes out uh, after daryl uh now what was pretty cool uh, i found was that in the promos it looked like daryl was going after carol uh in this episode we actually found out that no he's not in fact going after carol he's actually going after uh dwight he doesn't even know really that carol is uh, is gone and uh, he goes in a different direction he goes back to where Denise, of course, was killed, and uh, he goes out looking for uh, looking for for Dwight. Um, oh man! So you know, you really have this this awesome kind of rivalry between him and Dwight. Uh, Daryl kind of has his own villain with Dwight, and uh, let's talk about the ending in a little bit because uh, that's oh my god! I just uh, I jumped at the ending, and and I was so pissed off because what happened is I'm making my notes, and I looked down, and then I looked up, and it's like bam! And I'm like what? What just happened? <laughs> what the heck? Did, the fuck just happened? I missed it. Fuck. Because uh, I was making my notes and shit. I was like, oh my god. Okay, so we'll get to that. So Carol leaves, and uh, you know uh, Rick, which I was surprised. Rick, Rick goes after with Morgan. So you have the two of them. They go after her. She uh, she takes down uh, a whole group of savers by herself again. You know, just um, it, the survivors are doing a great job, but it seems like there is like no end to manpower when it comes to the saviors they just have so many people and so many fighters that is really as as great as rick's group is really doing uh in taking out whole groups and groups and groups of the saviors um there, there's just more where that came from and, and they're having trouble you know uh you know there's just people everywhere i mean not only does carol kill almost everybody there except the one guy who gets shot and kind of uh you know uh, leaves afterwards presumably looking for her Rick and, and Morgan also run into another guy who could either be, we don't know, could either be from the hilltop, could be one of the saviors. It's hard to tell. He's wearing like uh, some kind of body armor. We didn't get a real good look at him. All we know is that Rick went to shoot him and Morgan kind of, uh, you know, 
pushes him off or pu- pushes his hand so that he doesn't kill him because we know that Morgan is 100% against killing at this point and uh, sees all life as precious. I did like the way they included the line from Morgan, people can come back, where he wasn't there for, but that's part of Rick's speech to the governor, we get to come back, you know, and at the prison, at the end of the prison, at the end of the battle. And that really ties in nicely, even though uh, Morgan wasn't there for that, even though he had he's heard about it. Um, but, you know, he's kind of... It's kind of like, um, you know, they're, they, they've gone different directions, Morgan and, and Rick, with regards to their development. And at this time, they both respect each other's perspective, but Rick definitely sees that uh, sometimes you do have to kill people. Morgan may be right that maybe they shouldn't have started what they did start. Now it's going to be uh, it's going to be all uh, pretty much all out war all the way through with the uh, saviors and the survivors. And we've got another Governor Woodbury type situation on our hands uh, and maybe Morgan sees that as it could have been avoided who's right who's wrong from their perspectives in the show at this time is hard to say Rick of course doesn't know that if Morgan had killed the alpha wolf originally uh, when he and, and the other guy that was with him maybe they never would have attacked Alexandria in the first place saving all those people that were killed off at that time and no way out uh, would not have occurred but again this is a uh, not information Rick is privy to we as viewers can see that but he would not know that so that discussion between Morgan and Rick of, of who's right and who's wrong and from their perspective they respect each other's positions Rick decides to go back and allows Morgan to continue to look for Carol this is great stuff so um that's all of that. I really liked, you know, Carol's kind of reaction to it. It was unexpected, and uh, it seemed like, what kind of gun did she have underneath her sleeve? I don't know. Uh, but she just went to town on them quickly, and they were all killed off, or, yeah, the majority of them were very, very quickly. And then, of course, she drops the rose, uh, the, the cross rosary, and, and we don't know where she is right now or what's going on with her, which I kind of expected that that would be kind of a, a loose end that wouldn't be tied up in this episode, you know, that she'd be leaving and, and she wouldn't come back right away. But that would be a multi-episode. I didn't think we were going to see her at all, but it was cool they included that scene and I liked how they showed it before the credits and then we came back to it afterwards to grab our attention and then we got into the episode and we got to see kind of uh, that whole scene play out and that was intense to see um Afterwards, of course, we figure out for sure that they were definitely saviors. They had weapons from the hilltop and that. Uh, and the, the guy with the Lee guys na- say his name was Hero or something like that. Something like that. I don't know. But, well, we'll see what happens with Carol next. If uh, if Morgan is able to find her and if they're able to make it back together, the other guy was looking for her as well, too. Something probably we'll see in the extended finale as it's going to be 90 minutes, of course. So there's one spot or one, one piece of development. I like the conversation between uh, Rick and Morgan. And I liked how he confirmed for Morgan. Again, that uh, that she did, Michonne did in fact take one of his, his protein bars. They respect each other's position, even though they're they're on opposite sides of the fence when it comes to killing. They do respect each other. Uh, Rick does respect Morgan and sees his perspective. He was pissed off about what happened with the Alpha Wolf, but sees his perspective at the same time. And, uh, you know, it's a difficult conversation for them. Uh, and definitely not the time when they could sit down and work that out and decide who's right and who's wrong. And if there is such a thing as right and wrong, as Morgan kind of points out, he's not so sure that there, there is right or, or wrong anymore. Um, so I liked all that. That was all great. It was, it was handled really well. And I love the scenes and everything. It was really exciting to see. Got some cool shots of Morgan, you know, using the bow, taking down a few uh, zombies and that which was cool and um, yeah good stuff with the Carol part so then of course uh, we have the parts with uh, with Daryl um, intense man that was even more intense I would have to say so so Daryl okay let's start from the beginning so Daryl heads out you know looking for uh, for for Dwight really you know by himself even though it's not it's an emotional move and it's not uh, is not smart you know it's not an intelligent move when it comes to uh, definitely when it comes to war when it comes to, to battle like that you really got to be careful and you can't let your emotions take over. Dwight is able to stay cool, calm, and collected. Daryl isn't, and it ends up costing Daryl and the group uh, dramatically because, of course, Daryl goes out, they go back to the spot, and, um, you know, he's, he's, he's tracking them. He's looking for, uh, he's looking for Dwight and, and the others uh, with, of course, the crossbow, and he's looking to kill him. Um, but at the same time, he knows so many men Dwight has, and it's it's dangerous and everything. And if he if he even if he's able to find him with all the rest of his guys, is he going to be able to kill Dwight and get out of there, you know, uh, or, or kill them all? It'd be pretty tough by yourself. So of course, the rest go after him, and um, uh, Rosita does in fact know where they're going. She meets up with them. They uh, Glenn, you have Glenn there. You have uh, Rosita. You have Daryl. Um, you know, and uh, so they all kind of meet up, and uh, Michonne, of course, too. 
and they decide at a point to go different ways. You know, you have uh, Glenn and Michonne who decide to go back. They decide, screw it. If they're going to get themselves killed, they're going to get themselves killed. That's that's their choice. They go back and actually they get captured first. Then they get set up as uh, as bait. Because, uh, again, Dwight, very calculated, very smart about what he's doing. Daryl, more emotional at this time, really looking for vengeance, so to speak. And, um, of course, uh, Dwight uh, sets him up. And then uh, him and uh, Rosita are also captured. Wow. Intense. And then at the end, the scene that I'm talking about where I went to write down what's happening, <laughs> and I missed it, uh, he gets shot and there's blood splatter on the screen. And it looked to me like he got shot in the head. Um, did he get shot in the head? I don't think so. Um, probably arm or something. You know, I, that's, I don't think that's Daryl's death right there. No, I don't think so. But the way it was shot was like, holy shit, did he just, did he just, did Daryl just go to turn and Dwight just shoot him in the head or what happened there? Oh, that's crazy. And this one brought in an interesting point. If you have a gun on somebody and they don't, um, they don't comply, what do you do? Do you shoot them? Uh, you know, Rick seems to seems to say yes. Uh, Morgan would say no. You know, Dwight would definitely say yes to shoot them if they're not going to comply. And, uh, you know, oh, was, oh, man, that was an intense scene at the end. But they did say on Talking Dead pretty much right afterwards that there was no deaths this episode. So we're to assume that, no, Daryl hasn't, in fact, been shot to death at this point. Uh, but he's been shot, and he looks to be hurt. Uh, does that mean he's probably more likely to be uh, to be okay in the finale? Maybe so. Maybe he'll be all right. We'll see. So I'm excited. I, I really hope, you know, I hope that Daryl does stick around. I hope he does survive the finale and then he just gets shot and that's it. That's uh, that's what he gets. But as you saw from the promo that there is, uh, uh, the, the rules have been broken and, uh, you know, the uh, the survivors are going to be punished for sure. So um, I've seen for me, I jumped out of my seat when I, sh- when I saw the blood splatter and uh, I was like, holy shit, you know, uh, and also when he, uh, when Dwight got him. You know, when I say, hey, Daryl, uh, you know, this kind of deal is, oh, man, he got in his head. It's like, it's like you're playing a game. You're like, you mad, bro, and somebody gets mad, right? And you're playing it, and they totally just get angry, and they get frustrated, and they just start, you know, playing like shit because they get so mad, their emotions consume them, and they just, they just start making stupid moves. And it's like, that's the best way I can think of to describe the situation between uh, Daryl and, uh, and Dwight. Oh, man, so everything gets a return, man. So, uh, oh, crazy so as a standalone episode you probably hate this episode because you're like well damn it all these things got set up and nothing got resolved and it's uh, it's an episode it's a setup episode which is what you want it to be you want it to be a, a setup episode to set us up for the season six finale which should be the best episode or one of the best episodes of the walking dead ever right now it's looking like it's going to be the most intense episode ever uh man so the 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 saviors at this point they've got four uh key members of of the survivors key members of alexandria they got glenn of course we saw maggie there's another thing to talk about there too in a minute we'll talk about that you know maggie um has of course husband glenn there's a tie right there huge tie and everybody else cares about glenn as well too daryl everybody likes daryl you know of course rick sees him as his brother uh same with carol as as family uh and then of course he's got his lady <laughs> They got Dwight, uh, just oh my god, is captured Michonne. And you can see Andrew Lincoln at the end there, you know, asking about Michonne. He's got a couple, you know, he's got a couple coming there, a um, couple tear, a couple drops there, right? You know, at the end, and uh, asking, you know, of course, worried is Michonne back yet, of course, because I mean, there's nobody closer to, uh, you know, to uh, he loves all these people here, but you know, that's his that's his lady now, so oh my god, so intense. So Dwight has. Dwight's a monster this episode. I mean, he captures... Uh, oh, shit. It's like he almost just won the game, dude. He captures Daryl. He captures Rosita. He captures Glenn and Michonne. I mean, those are those are four of the biggest, you know, strongest characters in the uh, the Survivors, man. And uh, holy shit, you know, this, he's good, man. Dwight's good, man. What can you say, right? So, uh, but that's what the Saviors do. This is what they do, you know. This is all they really do. They don't really farm. They don't really do that stuff. This is their game. So, um, man, setting us up for what will be, no doubt, the most intense finale we've probably uh, ever seen. Uh, it looks like from the promo, Morgan will also be captured too. So that's like Five, 
What's going to happen next? How are they going to... Oh, my God. This is going to be such an insane finale. I just can't wait. Uh, I'll save the predictions for a different video, but my God, mind-blowing, especially the end, man, because, uh, you know, I, I always go back and forth. Like, who's my favorite character? Is it Rick? Is it Daryl? It's tough, man. It's tough to, de to decide sometimes who your favorite is in the show. And um, for me, you know, it goes back and forth between Rick and Daryl, depending on what's happening. So, uh, you know, these, these two guys right here, right? So... Uh, crazy man, uh, emotional response for me for sure at that that ending man. I was like, oh shit. So, oh my god. Um, so the part with Maggie too to add to it, another setup for you know excitement for the finale. She's you know she seems to be having some issues, bro. I mean, I, at first I was thinking, oh my god, did her water just break? And then I'm like, wait a minute, there's no way her water could have broken yet. It hasn't been it hasn't been nine months or eight eight months or you know premature. No, I don't think so. You know, so she's got some pain. She's got some issues going on. Is she going to have a miscarriage? Is the events, you saw some bruises there in the shower and stuff. I was like, shit, dude. So, you know, is she going to, is she going to be all right? She's with Enid right now. The doctor's dead. You know, um, there's not like they can just get to the hilltop. It's not that easy. So, holy shit, they cut her hair. She cuts her hair and stuff. So we see that. Um, but now it's like, oh, my God, it's something, you know, it doesn't seem like everything's all right. It seems like something's real wrong. And, um, you know, what's, go what's going on, man? Because there's no way, yeah, there's no way she would be ready to have the baby now. There's just no way. So that's bad news. It's not a bad sign. It's <laughs> a really bad sign. Um, oh, my God. So that was exciting, man, for sure. So we'll see what happens next. Oh, uh, man, so many questions raised in this episode. Uh, you know, like I said, Michael Lee's Hatcher's name is just an incredible job to set us up. He did try last year, too which was episode 15 also, which was an incredible setup episode too. So uh, keep him on AMC. Don't lose this guy. This guy is a fucking genius, man. He does he does a damn job. So I love his episodes. I look forward to him now. Him and Greg Nicotero. Uh, Ernest Dickerson doesn't seem to be doing it anymore. I'm not sure why he hasn't directed any episodes in the last... Uh, uh, last over for over a season, but um, yeah, keep definitely keep uh, Greg Nicotero and uh, and Michael Man. They do a damn job. So uh, this episode for me is gonna be a nine point four out of ten. I loved this setup episode. It was incredible. Kind of frustrating because there's so many things set up. But again, it's an episode of a series. It's not a movie by itself. If this was the ending to a movie, that would be the worst cliffhanger ever. <laughs> But as an episode to the finale, my God, man, I am, I, yeah, I've never been so excited as I am for this finale. This is the most hype finale of a show I've ever seen, for sure. Last Day on Earth, apparently, maybe, maybe something to fear. I think it's Last Day on Earth, though. We'll see the finale. So I'll do my predictions. It'll be posted about half an hour to an hour. Let me know what you guys thought about this, uh, this episode, dude. So many things happen. Some great lines all the way through, some great parts. And, uh, you know, just an amazing setup for what should be a, an incredible, incredible finale. Write your comments below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you liked this review, please don't forget to thumb it up below. I always appreciate when you guys thumb it up. Uh, you know, share favorite. If you have a Facebook you want to share through below to Facebook, click the buttons. I appreciate it. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, you want to see my review for the finale, my reviews for Season 7, predictions for Season 7, all the usual stuff, guys, be sure to subscribe at the bottom left if you haven't yet. And uh, that's, it. that's all i got to say for this episode. It was incredible episode the ending just blew my mind and uh i can't wait to see what happens in the in the finale absolutely crazy so holy shit you know find out soon if daryl what kind of state is, is daryl gonna be all right did he get where did he get shot you know oh you'll be all right well i don't know i don't know if i trust you man you're pretty crafty you know two-faced and shit i don't know man i don't know what to think of dwight yeah you'll be all right i, I don't know about that Damn it, man. Crazy episode. Write your comments below, guys. That's it for this one. We'll see you soon for the predictions. And send me your questions for the Q&A this week. I want to do lots this week because I'm on vacay, so it's, it's pretty awesome. I have more time to spend with you guys. It's Trev, and I'm saying peace. I'll see you guys. Wow.